Okay, now we want to go a little bit over um, gang stalking. Now, basically, what gang stalking is, it's a form of, uh, well, it's more of an art to disconnect you from your reality, to disconnect you from yourself. If there's no disconnection within you, there can be no disconnection outside of you. Now, it can be as simple as somebody following you in a car with their lights on. For most people, that's pretty intimidating if they realize that that is there just for them. A car passes by your house a couple times. Most people will be a little bit nervous saying, oh, you know, who is this? What do they want? What's going on? For me personally, uh, I had got into it with like, you know, some heavy people. When I say heavy, I mean heavy, heavy, heavy. And so when I began to notice cars and stuff like that, I automatically interpreted it as this was the will of those people that I had got into it with one-on-one um, -on -one between me and them. Little did I know that they had went through a, sort of a buffer. They had contracted, um, you know, through private security or whatever they did, uh, gang stalking. And, you know, they'll do something. They'll pay off your neighbor. Like, I got a neighbor. Uh, they did something as small as wear, like, a blue coat. Now, the blue coat, for me, had a meaning. This was coming from some of my re conspiracy research I had done. And so that person probably didn't know anything about it. But I noticed that these people, you know, had got awarded things like furniture. You know, a furniture truck would show up, give these people furniture. They were given money. They were, you know, they uh, cars, whatever. I mean, you know, whatever you want. Um, 